Hello, it's Bob Steele here. Welcome to this video on how to draw a pie chart. On screen and in front of you, you should have this typical example of what a GCSE question on pie charts looks like. Um, work through this with me, step by step with the video. I'm going to pause it at various points just to check that you're following what's doing, following what's going on and doing the right stuff. Okay. Um, Let's get straight into it. Your first step is going to be to just add up the values for each group. So if you could quickly just add these up, I'll pause the video to give you a chance to do that. Okay, what have you got? Hopefully you've come out with 90 for that first step. Yep, so let's go straight to step two. In step two, we need to start to turn these numbers into pie chart angles. And as we know that there are 360 degrees in a circle, the next thing we do is to see how many times our answer from step 1 goes into 360. So, can you do this calculation for me? Okay, hopefully we've got 4. Okay, moving on from that into step three, we're going to multiply each of those category subtotals by four, and that's going to give us our pie chart angles. So, here are the numbers I gave you in the first place. Can you please just multiply each of these numbers by four? And I'll pause the video whilst you do that. Okay, have you come up with these answers? Yeah, 60, 52, 32, 120, 40, and 56. These numbers are the numbers of degrees each sector of the pie chart is going to take up. And in the final step, we're actually going to draw these numbers of degrees on a pie chart. So, here we are, step four. These are the numbers of degrees. I've just copied them from the previous slide. Now we're going to use a protractor and ruler to draw the pie chart. So, um, for this, you're just going to need a protractor and a ruler. And... In your GCSE question, the circle and the line are going to have been drawn for you already. So, first thing to do, take your protractor and line the centre of the protractor up with the centre of the circle, like so. And first sector, the West Brom, 60 degrees. So, mark with your pen or your pencil where 60 is on the outside scale, yeah, counting from 0, don't count from 180, then make that mark, slide your protractor off the paper, take your ruler, straight line from the centre of the circle to the mark you just made. Yep. Yeah. Then put your protractor back onto the paper and then rotate the protractor so that the new zero line is the line that you've just drawn. Yeah, like so. Then, second section, 52 degrees for Aston Villa, uh, mark using the outside scale where 52 degrees is. Then, as before, protractor off, draw a straight line from the centre of the circle to where your 50 degree line, 52 degree line is. Then, yeah, we're okay with that. And if you see what I'm doing next, I am going to rotate so that the zero line is against what I've just drawn. And now I'm marking off where 32 degrees is. 
So same as before, draw a straight line from the center of the circle to a point where the 32 degrees is. Hopefully you're getting a feel for what's going on here. The next sector that has to be drawn is the 120 degrees. As you can see here, I've made a dot outside scale, 120 degrees. Center of the circle to that 120 degree point. Then the final one we're going to have to draw rotate that round this mark is 40 degrees I shouldn't have to measure the final one because if all my measurements are correct then the final one should just take care of itself because it's all that's left so center of my circle to my most recent mark there we go so far so good so now we're finished with the protractor so I'll get rid of that final thing that has to be done is the pie chart needs to be labeled so We just do that. There you go. I've labelled each segment of my pie chart, sorry, each sector of my pie chart. So all my pie chart angles correctly measured, drawn, labelled. This demonstration is the sort of answer that will get you full marks. So next there are going to be some practice questions for you to have a go at. Okay. Thanks for watching and listening. Bye.